Welcome. Today, we'll explore a powerful solution to tool chatter and vibration during deep hole boring. Introducing the Haas Anti-Vibration Damped Boring Bar. Vibration is a persistent problem in precision machining especially during ID boring. It manifests as chatter, which degrades the surface finish, impacts accuracy, and can lead to premature tool wear. Hassa addresses this challenge with our robust line of anti-vibration boring bars, incorporating a highly effective damping system. This range of boring bars is offered to suit various applications and machine requirements in several metric shank diameters. 20 millimeters, 25 millimeters, 32 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and 50 millimeter shanks. All of them are capable of 10 times the diameter, except for the 20 millimeter, which is capable of seven times diameter. All the boring bars have a hub connection and are through tool coolant ready. A selection of modular bolt-on boring heads is also offered to pair with these anti-vibration bars including options compatible with the popular insert styles like the C-Style, the D-Style, and the V-Style. These options allow you to choose the precise boring bar and head combinations that matches your specific machining needs, ensuring optimal performance. Key features and advantages these boring bars offer, extended overhangs. Unlike conventional boring bars limited to three to five times the shank diameter in overhang, with carbide boring bars extending this capability approximately five to six times due to their increased rigidity, Haas anti-vibration boring bars can operate at extreme overhangs of 10 times the shank diameter without excessive vibration. This is achieved by the pre-tuned internal damping mechanisms within this area. A clever system with a heavy weight suspended inside the bar with rubber connections on both sides. The damping element consists of a mass block surrounded by damping oil with the entire internal system suspended by rubber bushes. As the cutting head encounters the workpiece and begins to vibrate, this internal mass block moves in opposition to these vibrations, with the damping oil and the rubber bushings absorbing and dissipating the energy. Modular design featuring interchangeable bolt-on heads, these boring bars offer exceptional flexibility, allowing for a quick and easy change between compatible heads without compromising performance or requiring excess inventory. Each head has a hub diameter that matches the boring bar shank diameter up to the 40 millimeter boring bar. So the 20 millimeter hub on these heads will fit the 20 millimeter bar and so on. The only exception is the 50 millimeter boring bar. It has a hub diameter of 40 millimeters. So all the 40 millimeter hub diameter heads will fit the 40 and 50 millimeter boring bars. Integrated through tool coolant. Deep hole turning presents a significant challenge for chip evacuation. As a tool delves deeper, chips can compact in the bore, leading to issues like recutting, poor surface finish, and accelerated tool wear. The built-in through tool coolant system addresses this by ensuring optimal lubrication and chip evacuation, forcefully flushing the chips away from the cutting zone. This enhances tool life and overall performance. Each Haas anti-vibration boring bar comes with the right fittings and hoses to easily connect to its built-in coolant port. You can find details about compatible fittings and accessories on the technical details page for each boring bar. The only thing you will need to find is the fittings to connect to the other end of the coolant port of your tool holder or turret. Now, let's set this up. Typically, standard boring bars have a flat that is used to set it in place and on center using set screws, which essentially presses points onto the bar. Anti-vibration bars don't have this flat, so using set screws would not only damage the boring bar surface, it would be very difficult to remove after use. 
You are forced into solutions that provide a more even, concentric grip and avoid damaging the boring bar surface. It is like trying to hold a heavy object with fingertips versus cradling it in your entire hand. The latter offers much more secure and stable hold. And we have a few options. Some are available now and some are available soon. They are the BMT65 split body holders for the 25 mm, 40 mm and 50 mm boring bars available on Haas tooling. Unfortunately, we don't have split holders for the other boring bars, other BMT sizes or any of the BOT holders. But we do have these split reduction sleeves. These can be mounted on solid or split metric boring bar holders. There is a small range of metric to metric split bushings available very soon. And coming later is a range of inch to metric split bushings to easily mount those metric bars into your inch holders. It's also a perfect time to mention another requirement to get the best results from damping boring bars. A three to four times diameter clamp length is highly recommended. The split holders and the split bushings specifically for these boring bars are machined to suit. Here is a regular split bushing next to the split bushing specifically for anti-vibration boring bars. You'll find these options listed as related products on each damping boring bar page. So basically, a tight, even grip within the specified clamping range using the right holder maximizes the benefits of the anti-vibration system. We are on the ST28Y with a BMT65 turret. We have loaded our mild steel material. It's five and a half inch diameter with a three and a half inch ID and it's eight inches long. I'm going to use a 32 millimeter boring bar but we don't have a BMT65 split body 32 millimeter holder. So I'm going to use the 50 millimeter split holder with this 32 millimeter split reduction sleeve. Now I'm gonna bore this seven inches deep, but to show the capability of this bar, I'm going to hang it out at the max length. 10 times diameter is 320 millimeters or 12 and a half inches. Now I'm going to tighten the bolts, but wait, remember when I said standard boring bars have a flap that helps place the bar on center line? Yeah, that isn't gonna work here. I'm going to have to scribe a line with a tool that is on center and then a line to that. I'll use the turning tool to mark the face. Now I'll bring the boring bar to the face and rotate it to center line. Now I can clamp it down. The 20 millimeter boring bars have this small mark in here. The split bushing specifically for these holders also have a center line marking. We can align these two marks to place the small boring bar onto the center line easily. Tool holders with a back cover do allow through tool coolant, but because we are using split bushings, most of that coolant will escape through the slot. So no back cover and I'll add the plumbing that is provided. A 32 millimeter boring bar with a G3 H thread will include the matching 3 H connection and a 10 millimeter hose. If you're connecting to a house holder, you will need to shop for a 10 millimeter quick connect fitting with a male MPT connection and a coolant nozzle with the mating thread and matching diameter. I found these fittings and coolant nozzles to suit this holder online. Now let's test the coolant. Looks like it hits the insert and there's another channel to help push the chips out that sit in the bore. I do have this inch and a quarter standard boring bar in a standard holder and we set it six times the diameter. That is way beyond the recommended three to four times diameter. I'm running it at the recommended 1000 SFM for finishing. You can hear the chatter, that's not great. We all know what kind of finish this is gonna produce. Now, here's the same parameters with the anti-vibration at 10 times the diameter. I've turned off the coolant for a better view. No chatter, 
no vibration, this sounds great. The difference in vibrational response is evident. The Haas anti-vibration damp boring bar is engineered with a pre-tuned internal damping system. It absorbs and dissipates vibrational energy within the tool body, even at this extreme overhang. This enhanced dynamic rigidity reduces chatter, leading to a consistently smoother surface finish, tighter dimensional tolerances, and prolonged tool life. The bars are being used to machine critical features on our spindle housings and other spindle bars throughout our facility. Another quick note about the bar hangout. These are pre-tuned to dampen vibrational frequencies and have a minimum length requirement for the dampening to function effectively. Check the technical details page for each boring bar for that info and many other key points. If you're new to deep hole boring or you already have this type of tooling, I hope this video helped in some way. Check out the performance and pricing of all our tools. We think you'll find they compare very favorably with our other top brands. My name is Bob Singh. Thank you for watching.